All right, it's time to replace my watch. So this has been a good watch for me. It's the uh, Casio Pathfinder. It's got a compass, barometer, altimeter. So it comes in handy once in a while. It's got a lot of alarms and so forth. But it's at solar powered, but unfortunately the battery is not holding a charge. You can see down here the battery indicator shows nothing, so. That's well, about six, seven years, so that's pretty good. So we're going to be getting, and well, we did get this one, Casio Protex stainless steel quartz. So I had bought this one, which I'm going to have to return, because this one is so much bigger. Look at the size of these two things. So this one should be about the same size as this. It's about the same uh bezel size. So let's see. So we're going to open this up. And you got your description here, what it is. Digital compass. The massive uh, manual as usual, but since I only buy Casio watches, I already know how to use them. So you don't bother with that. And you got this little wooden box, which is kind of fun. And the top just comes off. I tried, kept trying to slide it, but it wouldn't come open. So here it is. It's in a plastic bag. And it's got a cover on it. It's already got the right uh, day of the week on it. Day of the month, rather. And day of the week. This plastic off. So, it's not for my time zone to set that, but it's got the same, so again, it's about the same size as this uh, Pathfinder, which they don't make anymore, so. She got more comfortable on my, on my wrist. So I, This is my other one. This is my sports watch. I take that off. Put this one on. This is a lot more comfortable size-wise. And... That's the Casio Protec model PRW 31YB. So we can do things like the compass and the altimeter is fun. If you're going hiking, so we're at about 600 feet. And it's got. dates it's got a stopwatch timer countdown timer it's got how many one two three four it's got four alarms plus a snooze alarm and it's got the uh, world time which is handy and it also has a uh, works off an atomic clock so it'll automatically sync with the uh, satellite time uh, every day in the morning, early in the morning, except for about what time it's set, so. All right, so that's this uh, watch, it's really nice. So the other part of this video is, I was wondering at some point, could I replace the battery on this? So it's a rechargeable battery, so probably not, but I think just for fun, it's got screws on the back, we're gonna try to open it, see what happens. All right, so it's got four screws on the back, I moved three already, I'm just using a regular Phillips screwdriver. Move the last one, see what's inside. All right, so if this is the battery, I don't think so. Maybe it is. I doubt it. This is just the steel back. There's the O-ring. So the O-ring is in pretty good shape. Probably could use it again. Obviously, we better get a new one. Let's see if we can take some of these other parts out of there. See what happens. There's another screw. Is it a screw? Yeah, let's try to see if this is screw. There's a screw here. It's not really screwing. Maybe we can peel this off. This is a little peeler. All right, so here, there is a battery in here. Hmm, maybe I could have replaced this battery.
It's got some tiny writing on it. Clip. Yeah, it does have a battery. Okay, well, I guess I could have replaced the battery. I'd have to find this battery. It might not be that hard. Oh, it's a Panasonic. Probably could find that. CTL 1616, made in Japan. So I probably could have replaced it, although it wouldn't be water, unless I can get a new O ring, which maybe you can get that too. I never really looked for it. Uh, but we can see what else we can see what's in here. It's got a sensor. The sensor is over here, so some kind of a cable going over to the sensor. And then this, I wonder if this is having to do with the uh, compass, maybe. Let's see if we can get the rest of this out of here. Yeah, so there's the black light. Yeah, the button's on the bottom there for the back light, so. All right, well, that's pretty cool. That's what the inside of a solar-powered watch looks like. This one's obviously designated for the recycling bin, but my new one should be ready to go. And uh, it should help you last another seven or eight years. So, If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.